would not track the rental car. What's going on everybody? Greg Peters here with the Car Passion Channel, Miata Dad, and I feel like I'm sitting inside of just a legendary car right now. You guys probably know Quinn. If you've been following Miatas at all, uh, Slip Angle slash GQM Garage Show, This we are sitting in his white NV right now, which is, I followed this car for a long time, along with the, with the red turbo Miata. Yep. Um, and Quinn is, has been generous enough to actually let me take it on track. So I'm gonna I'm gonna respect his baby. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get a little bit of uh, cool footage for you guys and some some mad ITV sounds. Yeah. What's like the one pager of mods? What? Uh, uh, how much power? What's the motor build like? So it's a it's a naturally aspirated build. I built this car for enjoyment, not lap times. So it's it's but it's fast. Like it's a fast Miata. It's a uh, 2002 block. It's still stock bottom end. I took 100 off of the head to bump compression to 12 and a half to one. It has a set of 50 millimeter TWN in the visual throttle bodies. It has Marua 264 degree intake and exhaust camshafts, full SuperTech titanium valve chain, single valve springs. The head has a mild port and polish so they just cleaned up the flash, nothing crazy, like easily reproducible, that's the key. It has a Marua VP race header, a full 60 millimeter back exhaust uh, with some fancy resonators and a Jets Integral Kobe N1 axle back. I will say JDM land. This is the first Miata I've ever stood next to, and you can actually feel the ground shaking. It just sounds super aggressive. He has the cams, the lumpy idle, the cams, and about 8,000 RPM we're revving it to. So the whole thing made 185 wheel horsepower and 134 foot pounds of torque. So that's 185 at the wheels and stock block, stock rods, everything. You know, the, the block is unopened. It's got a pretty, pretty nasty head on it, but I think you may be the record holder for power on a stock block. Yeah, I am. <laughs> the reason that you're kind of limited there is really just because of RPM, right? Because you start to get rod stretch or? Um, yeah, so pretty much anything past 8,000 RPM, the rods aren't happy. I have a Super Miata uh, harmonic balancer on it to kind of help smooth some of the harmonics out a little bit. So I think that's probably what's milking this along. It has an upgraded um, oil pump too from Boundary Engineering. Okay, because I didn't want to shatter the gears with the yeah. higher revs because <laughs> these, these cranks just they don't have the support like the Honda stuff does so like when you rev them high the harmonics and they get out of balance and like they're just not happy so yeah. Um, yeah it's it's RPM limiting right now I mean you could do stiffer rods but it's like a, you're just fighting an uphill battle after that the cranks start to wobble and and this car seems, at least from what I've seen, to be very reliable. I mean, you beat the absolute crap out of you it. You know, <laughs> it was just like kind of one of those things, like I did the 60,000s off of the head and it was making 172 with the wheels, and that setup was super reproducible. I know people who have actually done it, and it's like awesome. Um, I just really want this, I wanted to break 200, but it just didn't happen. But um, yeah, it keeps taking it, and like, I'm just surprised every time, like, you know, take it to track, drive it all day, and drive it home, and it, it just keeps taking the abuse. That's awesome, man. I, I know when I was researching my turbo stuff, before I ever even thought about boosting my Miata, I found your red car, and I saw how much power is making 254, I think. 254 wheel. On essentially a stock 1.6, and that, yeah. that was, like, one of the sparks that really fired, like, this whole spiral that I'm in with, with boosting Miata, so... I uh, I appreciate the opportunity to drive this no, car anytime. and uh, I will take care of it. All right. So, thanks Gwen. Anytime, buddy. This is such a legendary car, you guys. I cannot like people like fangirl over their favorite YouTubers. I'm like I'm a fangirl for this car right now. I got to be careful, but I'm going to try to give it a nice grip.
dipper as well. I'm just feeling really lucky today. I got another buddy who's letting me track his car today. Uh, I believe his name was Hertz, um, something like that. Anyways, it's not my rental car. Miata Dad would not track the rental car. Uh, I would definitely not mic up the intake box. This thing's got paddle shifters, so obviously we're about ready to lay down some serious lap times. You got this. 